Hey, it is something I want to ask AJ about from this game, though. Kareem Jackson, a uh, guy who played, you know, been oh, playing yes. for a long time, I think 13, 14 years, knocked the shit out of a tight end. I think it was a clean football mm. play, violent, obviously. And I think Gene also said they look at every play in the vacuum and his history had nothing to do with the ejection. Mm. What's your thoughts on uh, Kareem Jackson, his play, and his, you know, they find him, I think, what, four or five weeks in a row now? Yeah, I mean, he's going to get fined a billion dollars for this one because of his past history. But, no, like he, he didn't make – contact with his it wasn't helmet to helmet it was defenseless receiver right the yeah. receiver didn't have time to defend himself so watch this like one it hit him two, right three. almost i mean shoulder, he left with to, shoulder. Shoulder, shoulder. shoulder to chin like honestly it could have been way worse and i'm sure yeah. that's what jackson would tell him hey i actually tried to not hit him with my head when we know if this was 10 15 years ago this would be on all the highlight clips and you wouldn't get kicked out of the game. And I think you said he's going to get fined a bazillion dollars. He's a repeat offender. This yep. is the fifth oh, week that he is getting fined. But there's, you know, let's go back. You shouldn't to get thrown out. You should not get thrown out for that. I assume that they they were trying to take, like, his past his past situations, and that's the reason he got thrown out. So you're telling me no. someone with no, with no fines, anything, is getting thrown out for that hit right there? They said that they do not think that's about said, yeah. any of the previous stuff whenever they're deciding on this particular yeah. ejection, allegedly. But before games, the other team is saying, hey, remember Jackson, he flies around a lot. Let's protect the guys out there, giving a little bit of a heads up on things that they've picked up through film that they think they can gain advantage of and the refs aren't calling or whatever. Let's go back to a couple of the hits that have got him fined for five straight weeks. Here's against the Raiders. Guy's going down dead. Okay. <laughs> so, like... He was going down, though. Yeah, he's, going, he's sliding down. And the question is always, like, what do you want Kareem Jackson to do? Because he is going down, but Kareem Jackson's oh. supposed to lower yeah. where he's hitting. So if he's going to lower the strike zone and old buddy drops into the there at the same time. He's 20, with a shoulder, too. Yeah. Kareem does a great job of using his shoulder. Yeah, it's like 20 miles an hour. This stuff's happening pretty quick. It's like, yeah, he is laying wood on these folks, which is not as normal as it was at one time. Mm -hmm. But I think he has an excuse for yeah. most of these things, especially that one. Yeah, you go, you're going across the middle of the field. And as a safety, a linebacker, whatever, like you want, you know, obviously you don't want to get fined, you don't want to get kicked out of games, but those are the type of plays, at least when we're playing, you want to put on film. So you know, like you said, in those offensive meet rooms, hey, 22 is back there, get your ass down. Hey, you're looking at your quarterback, don't throw any hospital balls across the middle. I think that's a fair one as well. The one this week was definitely fair. This one was bang, bang, but it's a receiver. Like, what's, what's defenseless? You know, you got the ball, you're looking right at me. Now, there is one that he has had on this particular run that we'd all say, well, that's probably going to be something here. Yeah. And this is against Commanders and Thomas. And the, I mean, wait till you see the back yeah. view here. Head, <laughs> shoulders. Launches. Jump. Yeah. Teeth and nose. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, he, uh, he propelled himself. I, I understand. I understand this one a little bit. Yeah. He's kind of launching, <laughs> launching himself through yeah. through him but yeah like i get it but uh yeah i thought the one he got thrown out for he should not have been ejected no okay all right, for that one let's a little clarification too <laughs> uh -huh. like certainly gonna get it for that but six foot six that's right Thomas, six, 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 260 260 yeah. so he is going up to hit him regardless he ends up going directly at his skull that's gonna be a penalty if he was kicked out for that one I think people would be much more understanding mm -hmm. than potentially the one that just happened yesterday. Kareem also, his rookie year was 2010. Like, he didn't come up tackling like the rest of these guys probably in the league did now. He came up tackling like... Like, like what? Like, like, oh, yeah. like when we play football. Yeah, yeah like old football. He's like, an old school guy. You're talking about you got... Jacked up! Yes, oh, bingo. Yeah. Those days? Yeah. AJ was probably written all over. Oh, oh yeah. my God. I don't even think about how much that particular dome piece has probably been showcased on You Got Jacked Up. Uh, I don't think so, but I always would love watching safeties just annihilate people. And that's what I always talk to. Like, I'd ask DB, I'd ask anybody, like, how do you play safety now? Because your job is to – you're coming from a distance trying to dislodge the ball yeah. from a receiver or a tight end, and now, like, your target area is so small. And I, I understand whatever. I'm not going to sit here and complain about it. No, nah, it's safe but first. Yeah, it's, we it's, get it. It's just a tough – it's a very tough thing to do. And I think safeties have it harder than anybody. Yeah, it's damn near impossible. Like, this, the last one you showed, yeah, you get that one. But it's impossible. It's bang, bang. And you are trying to dislodge the ball. Like, you're trying to separate the receiver from the ball. And the receivers, obviously, you know, usually when they catch it, they have a step, maybe two. The one with the Green Bay tight end, he had three feet before he got hit. It's tough. It's damn near impossible. I get the, the safety part of it, but Derwin – James has been caught with a bunch. Oh, yeah. um, like you, it, when you get these guys, okay, it's not yeah. too many safeties who play 14 years. It's hard to change when you're an instinctive player. And like also, not everybody has a hammer. Like not everybody Correct. hits hard. Like that's a that's a 
that's a benefit that Kareem Jackson has. That's mm -hmm. a talent. That's a skill. I think that's what people think whenever they're watching along. Like, well, not everybody has to hit that way, so he needs to learn. And it's egregious and everything. It's like, that's very quick. He led with his shoulder. And he is one of the – football. I don't know how many people are left in the NFL. That, that sure. is a talent of his. He oh, yeah. is. So uh -huh. he's got to go lower, though? Is that all he has to do is just lower his – lower where he hit him? And it's he's still – But that guy's guy that falling – I honestly don't think it matters. I think they're going to flag him regardless yeah. just because what of how violent it is. Yeah, the, it's so just too much, hit but they're not going to Can you take not hit him, though? That hard? Honestly, I no. I think they're going to flag it every time. It is interesting because anytime there's a big hit, we're all, like, expecting a flag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, here's a question. What if he what if he went low and chopped his legs out and tore his ACL? Well, that remember. Because that would be way worse, I think. That was the big conversation whenever these rules were changed to the strike zone. You had, like, a lot of tight ends and Bronk, bigger wide Bronk. receivers be like, I would much rather – them hitting me in the face than tearing my ACL yeah. with mm -hmm. these low shots. So then they made the strike zone. So then the strike zone was created where it's like middle of thigh to chin. That is where you need to hit them at 22 miles an hour with people moving, like just, just oh. like this, potentially jumping and sometimes Racing. crouching down. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's a wild thing. Now, how good guys have adapted, I think we're all very impressed mm -hmm. by. Mm -hmm. You know, because I thought that was going to be a very difficult thing, especially in the first couple years of the transition where all the old meatheads were still playing football exactly how they learned how to play football, which is right here to where? To where the Adam's apple? Is that right? What do you mean? What do you mean? Strike strike your zone? forehead. Strike right? zone is? No, your forehead. Yeah, the ride down. Hey, that ride down right there. No, right? Just, you know, you, that was an old technique, head and hands. It's, you know, same time, boom. Yeah, but where are you aiming that? Where are you aiming that dome piece at for? Depends how tall the guy is. Probably right in their chest. Don't want to get anywhere near the head or neck or chin. Yeah, oh, see, yeah. he's sure. lying well, right there. Yeah. He was literally aiming for the Adam's apple. He told us that. Uh, we've heard many other people say that as well. Mm -hmm. Right under their chin is what football coaches actually used to say whenever you're talking about hitting people. So we thought the transition was going to be difficult. This next generation that started with USA football and heads up football and everything in high school and all these tackling camps, they really have adapted pretty well now that we're sitting seven, eight yeah. years later. But every once in a while, there's going to be an old school guy that's going to come through the ranks. Or ranks. And I'm not saying Kareem Jackson because he is an old school guy. I'm saying there's still going to be guys that are thumpers and there's going to be guys that are going to figure out how to hit in the strike zone, how to do it full speed, and how to absolutely absolutely slaughter people like that is gonna that's gonna be the next generation of this whole thing so i hope it isn't just big hits like because big hits can come anywhere yes. body blows what about running backs though out. how many running backs have been called this year when they lower their heads straight down and go at you which i don't think should ever be a penalty but i know it technically is if they lower their head yeah, and yeah, I don't know how often it gets it. called. Rarely. Much, yeah. It wasn't a point of emphasis this year. It was a point of emphasis last year, so it got called last year, but it's not a point of emphasis. But Kareem Jackson, hey, we want to let you know, we appreciate you flying around, and we don't think he's a cheap shot artist. No, no. There's no, people saying they think he's shot. like a cheap shot guy. It's like, nope. come on. I don't think – I think he just plays his ass off. Yeah. Like, I, I think he, he plays his ass off, and that Thomas one's tough to defend. But <laughs> Oh, was an, yeah, but no. was an aggregator giving you know. an opinion? What's that? Was an aggregator giving an opinion? The internet gives their opinion. <laughs> but it was just a narrative that was being built, I think, or trying to be built. And it's like, hey, this is happening real fast, and he's a thumper. Like, And there's going to be more of those. Yeah. Like, as the years continue to evolve and people continue to work this, we can't villainize the thumpers. Like, the thumpers are a weapon that the NFL has. So and, it's, down. and it's exciting. It's exciting as hell. Obviously, college has their problems we saw with the Iowa game, but isn't that uh, maybe a rule that you think they do right where there's the targeting call, but they actually review it and we'll pick that flag up or they'll bring the player back like isn't that something that maybe should get looked at if that continues how did i wasn't watching that game live i only watched it afterwards how did it without the commercials it's a great way to watch yeah this ai thing's awesome mm -hmm. game changer get to watch these games without it's, yeah. it's really good don't miss a thing how did that whole thing go did they they threw a flag there yeah he got the, ejected like immediately uh -huh. so they didn't do like a full sit down talk let's they watch this like thing it. up top not really. It, yeah, no. was, I mean, and they they did, but there, like there was there really wasn't much communicate. Like he was, they tossed his ass, and there was really no. He was like, surprised too, though. Yeah. He was complaining. He was he didn't but, think he was getting booted. So how how does that work? What's the process? Yeah, well, there has to be a third what's party. The, yeah, what's a what is an offense that what it, what do you have to do to get thrown out? I guess and not just get a fifteen yarder. Yeah, because if there's another hit like that later in the game, by the precedent that they have set, they're going to have to eject that person too. Is there not like a uh, especially if they're not taking? Well, into I don't know. There has to be a checks and balances in there somewhere Hamilton. for ejections. Yeah, Hamilton had one in uh, London. Um, yeah, he did. Titans and what? I didn't think it was that bad either. Like to the point where you get kicked out. And mm -hmm. in college, I do like that they review it. I do. I always hate. 
almost always hate the ejection part of it. I feel like it's it's part of football unless a guy is just dropping. I think the most important emphasis should be when a player drops his crown and leaves with the crown is because we've seen intent. You know, yeah, intent. we've seen what happens. Well, those are compression fractures. I talked to yeah. the team doctors in Green Bay. Like they don't. He would be like, "Hey, man, keep your head up because." That's when you get like a spiral fracture down your yeah. spine that paralyzes people. He's like, that's what we're worried about. That's why we don't want you to lower your head. I'm like, okay, I get it, Doc. That does scare me. Yeah, okay. Sure. I mean, I haven't been taught that my whole life. This is brand new information, but yeah, so work be. with me here as I continue. Well, I said, like, what if I've uh, what if I've done it a long time? I've built up enough strength that that's not really an option for you. <laughs> that's not really an option for me. I understand in theory what you're saying, but also, like, I've kind of strengthened this entire thing. I don't have to worry about it. I drink a lot of milk, calcium, mm -hmm. bones are strong. Oh, like I Ram think, Doctor. Hey, it is crazy what you guys used to do, though. Like, bro, you were in the NFC North, okay? In the middle that was of the, the fullback. That was the fullback era when I got in there, too. Had, every team had a fullback that was 270 pounds. And yeah. In the middle of the helmet to oh, helmet yeah. era. No, like, that's, oh, and you're the all time man. leading. <laughs> sure. You, hey, skull head. Hey, skull. Way to go. Way to go to your skull. Do you ever celebrate hey, that thing? Nah, yeah, yeah, all the time I do. That's what I watch. I like watching the Ravens because I like old Ricard, 42, and I'm thinking I am oh. so happy I'm not playing against that guy because that would be awful.